Welcome to this video on Required Practical 7 for Biology, um, investigating human reaction times. Uh, we're going to set up this very simple experiment, it won't take very long, um, using the edge of the desk to help us make sure we have a fair test. So the way to set up this experiment is with your arm leaning on the desk so that you can't move your arm down and try and catch it and make your score look better than it should be. If your arm's wedged on the side of the table, that's impossible and makes it much fairer. You're going to have your uh, thumb and index finger ready to catch the ruler. Your partner is going to hold the ruler level with your thumb and pointy finger. And then you have to look directly ahead, not at them and not at your hand or the ruler, so you never know when they're going to drop it. And they will drop it in a surprise motion. And you're going to fail miserably to catch it. Let's try that one again. Your reaction time is probably better than mine. I have a small child, I'm not allowed to sleep. My reaction time sucks. <laughs> probably a good idea to practice this as well, because it is quite tricky to catch. Oh, I just about got there. So, hopefully you can see, my reaction times are really bad, um, that I've managed to catch that level, the top of my thumb, which is where you need to measure from. You will have to, always have to measure from the same point every time. Top of my thumb is just about on 80 centimetres. So that's our first result that we're going to write down in the table, and I'm pretty disgusted with that, so we're going to try it again. See if I can do a little better. Exactly the same method, holding it. Never know when she... Oh, that's a bit better! Liking that one. So that one was only 32 centimetres, level with the top of my thumb. So hopefully that 80 was an anomaly. We'll try it one more time, and then we'll have a look at the table we'll use to calculate my reaction time. So I'm not allowed to look at the ruler, or at my partner, that's better, 22, fantastic. So we'll stop it there and we'll come back to have a look at the reaction times table. Okay, so here are my results. I've got my 80, terrible, 32 and 22. Obviously, if you were doing this in your real required practical, you'd be gathering a lot more results, which helps to remove any of these anomalies um, and give you a much closer to the true value or more accurate reading. But I'm just gonna use these three uh, so I'm going to scrub out that one because that's the, the clear anomaly and I'm going to use 32 and 22. So to work out our um, reaction times, we actually have to use a conversion table, which is just here. So um, if I was going to be using my 80, it would be all the way over here at the bottom. My ruler reading of 80 gives me a reaction time of 0 0.40, but luckily for me, I'm not using that one. Um, I'm going to be using 22 and 32, which puts me in this middle part of the table here. So here's 22, that gives me a reaction time of 0 0.22. And here's my 32, that gives me a reaction time of 0 0.26. So you're just going to go through using this table to convert all of your ruler measurements into reaction times.